inside the Niger Delta. Glad to have you back on the program. If you're just joining us, it's Inside the Niger Delta, the authentic voice of Nigeria's oil-rich region. Niger Deltans have continued to react to President Muhammad Buhari's move to reconstitute the Dr. Pius Odubu-led board of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. While some describe the move as long overdue, others want the Buhari administration to revisit what they consider an alien commission. Correspondent Lovely Ofigo tells us more. President Muhammad Buhari last week broke his silence on the leadership controversy rocking the NDDC with a sack of the pious Odubu led board. Shortly after the board nominees were confirmed by the Senate, a three man interim management led by Dr. Joy Nine was inaugurated in October 2019 to pilot the affairs of the NDDC and oversee its forensic audits as directed by President Buhari. The new twist in the leadership of the NDDC has caused a rift between the presidency and the Senate. In November 2019, the nation's apex lawmaking body directed the Pius Odubu-led board to immediately take over from the interim management team whose appointment it described as illegal. The directive was greeted with mixed reactions from diverse groups in the Niger Delta. The Senate has given us uh, given an expeditious uh, you know, screening and confirmation to the board. I do not see any reason why to date the board has not been inaugurated. Who is more qualified to handle a, a forensic audit than the, the, the current uh, substantive uh, MD of the board, Bernardo Kumagba, a well-known financial expert, a man who has served as a commissioner for finance in Delta State, a man who has seen it all in terms of finances. You can't continue to run a board of that nature with interim management committee. So we frown at it and we condemn it. The people of Niger Delta has expressed love for the Joy Nunier led board of NDDC. The Senate will refuse to allow her to defend a budget that was sent by Mr. President to the Senate. No, no, no. To us, it's unacceptable. Very, very unacceptable. And we will not want it. We will follow it up to all logical conclusions. We are ready to even take to the streets of Abuja to call for the Senate to reverse the decision and do the right thing. In the midst of the mounting controversy over the leadership of the NDDC, President Buhari kept mum, a disposition that gave rise to speculations about his real intentions for the NDDC. The combined effect of sections 2 of the Act that establishes uh, the NDDC and Section 4 clearly states the manner in which the chairman of the board should be appointed and it's in alphabetical orders of A, uh, that's uh, Abia, Akwaibom, uh, Bayasa, Cross River, Delta. And in that order, it should be someone from Delta State that should be chairman of the NDDC board. But what was done was that uh, D was skipped for E which was an aberration. Now the president is acting. I think he has shown that he's in charge of his administration, of this government. That is what I am seeing. President Buhari's new plan for the NDDC, as disclosed in his recent statement, is to appoint a fresh board to be inaugurated at the conclusion of the commission's forensic audit that would be supervised by Dr. Joy Nine and her team. The Nigerian leader in the statement also vested supervisory powers over the NDDC in the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs. I think that he has done what we've been clamoring. If he so decides that supervisory powers be transferred to the Ministry of Niger Delta. Remember before he traveled, he said that the interim board, that there will be a forensic audit in the NDDC. Suddenly, the third thing is screened. But the president, through the minister, appointed the interim chairman, Buin Joy Nune. The president now is in line and in touch with what his minister, Pabio, did. I think he has shown that he is in charge. Mr. President's recent action finally lays to rest the mounting anxiety and bickerings over the rightful body to oversee NDDC affairs. For now, public attention is focused on the planned audits of the Commission, which must not end up like previous probe panel reports that never saw the light of day.
the expectations from the anticipated board when it is finally constituted and inaugurated is to bring about the paradigm shift in managing the affairs of NDDC, which is yet to fulfill its mandate as an intervention agency in the Niger Delta. Inside the Niger Delta.